Good morning and welcome back to Casey Urban Farm. So today I am continuing to go through my converted garage, which now has like a storeroom in it and my storage unit and cleaning stuff out. Some of the stuff is getting donated or set out by the side and posted to Marketplace, but some of the items I um, created years ago when Ron and I used to have a shop at an antique mall and um, I just never finished those items. So one is a prototype for an Art Deco Christmas tree that I had created and we made a large uh, one and then the ones that we sold ended up being you know about half the size and so this has been sitting in storage for four or five years and um, I'm really excited to paint it and get it all you know set up today and put out on my front porch for um, my very first Christmas decoration to go up this year so um, some of you might wonder what this has to do with living sustainably or um, you know gardening or anything else and I'll tell you so my garage is converted into extra living space for when family comes down it has my office and it. it has all my YouTube equipment out in it and it's also where I store all of the goodies that I pick up on the side of the road and all of my gardening stuff and right now it is so full and so just disorganized that in order to be ready for next spring setting up my um, indoor garden uh, greenhouses and starting my seeds, I really need to get out there and figure out what is going on. And also there's a lot of stuff that's just outdated and it's ready to go on to the next person, keeping the cycle of um, recycling and upcycling and um, blessing somebody in need going. So that is why you guys get to watch me do some crafts the last couple of weeks. Um, some of you may recognize the table here behind me from a short that I did. And I do have that video just about ready to go up on YouTube. And um, then after that one, I will get the Christmas tree one up. And then I do have some more dry canning and dehydration videos that are coming. So let me show you this tree and we'll get started. Okay, so the idea behind the design was that it would be shaped slightly like a Christmas tree or a pine tree. So it does have that cone shape. And then I wanted to have shelves on it. And these shelves aren't terribly large, but um, you know, for somebody in a small apartment or a condo or just a, a single person who doesn't have a lot of time or inclination to put up a great big Christmas tree this design would work really well for them it is set up so that you can put either decorations or gifts on the shelves and I have little hooks that I'm going to hook on so it can actually have ornaments hanging um, and it is a sustainable um, Christmas tree so you're not cutting down a tree and you can use it year after year very much like the lovely fake tree that we have, um, but with a little bit more of a modern and art design to it. Um, they sold fairly well when we had our little shop. The small ones did, because it was like a tabletop novelty. My idea was to decorate it and use it on my own porch, because I still think it's a fantastic idea. And... Um, and a little bit different than having, you know, your typical uh, fluffy fake tree. And it's a sustainable um, idea. Now, some of the wood is upcycled. It may look like brand new. It was leftover um, plywood because we like to go dumpster diving. And so I collect little scraps. And from it, we were able to create the shape that we needed. Um, I had some white paint which I need to mix, that was left over from another pro project. These are paints from the Dollar Tree that I had gotten for my grandkids um, when we were doing a Halloween project. And between the three, I'm hoping to get the shade of green that I'm after. 
And while I'm doing this, I'm also sitting cross-legged on my dining room floor because I do not have a work table currently set up, which is another reason, again, while I'm trying to get that outdoor space cleared up so that I can set up a work table and be able to work on projects um, other than on the floor of my living room slash dining room or my kitchen counters. So the white that was in the cottage cheese container was actually uh, white, very expensive white cabinet paint from what I painted my cabinets. Um, so it's very thick, almost like using chalk paint, and um, clearly it has good coverage because it's going on nice. And I'm excited to have the littles come down and be able to see my house decorated. They've only been down here a couple of times because India's and Brandon's work schedules make it really hard for them to um, travel for any period of time with the kids. And um, so usually we just go up, my mom and I, or Libby and I just drive up and see the kids up there. Ron's been up a few times, but his work schedule makes it hard too. And because we have another grandchild that's all the way out in Oregon, trying to balance the, the um, you know, visits so that we make it out to Oregon to see Colton and that we make it up to Wisconsin to see Sage, Summer, and Spencer, which um, are the babies that you usually see on the videos um, because they're only 12 hours away, so they're the ones that I get to see the most. I have another little granddaughter up in Wisconsin as well, but I never get to see her. Her name is Aubrey and she is seven. Okay, it is painted and I absolutely love the way the color turned out. Anuma is up there on the table. What about the inside? You need stuff. Well, the inside, yeah, I guess we could hang stuff on the inside too. We are going to hang. I like my presents inside. Yeah, but no, I can open up another one. And... No, okay. Okay, so. And see, I totally, I pushed the glue up too high and now it won't turn on. But see if it'll Velcro on. Is it going to stay? Ah, that works. <laughs> hey, okay. All right, so what we did was all of the um, command hooks that we put on, the generic ones from the Dollar Tree, they weren't sticking very well. And so I had to press them all down again, and then um, I went ahead and put the paint on so that they all kind of blend in a little bit better. And I have some underneath the shelves, and we'll see how this works now. And then it has the star on it. Yay! We did buy some Dollar Tree... Um, battery operated lights that are only 10 piece like there's 10 of the little lights on each one and what are they three feet long Libby mm -hmm. so the batteries to go with the battery operated LED lights the velcro to attach them and then we're going to stick our ornaments back on
And there it is. Now we need to get it set up on the front porch.